Hi everyone, Miss Ella here from Learn to Grow. I hope that you guys are enjoying your summer. Here's just a quick video on the garden and a little bit of updates. So it's been a while since I uploaded an update, which was I think in May. So just wanted to show you what's growing and how everything's doing. It's going to be a really warm week ahead for us here in the Pacific Northwest. I'm in zone 8A. I think it's supposed to be over 90 degrees today, so trying to stay cool here in the shade. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy this episode today at Learn to Grow. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a wonderful weekend. All right, let's take a walk through the garden, show you what's growing, how everything's doing, a couple of harvests. Our strawberries are pretty much done for the season. Our potato bed, we've also harvested some potatoes from this bed as well as this bed here where we had the garlic and potatoes. So this box looks a little bare, but we do have some faba beans growing. As you can see this tall one, they're about, I think four feet tall now. And they are producing flowers. I've got a couple more on the other side of the bed here. As you can see, we've got some young fava beans here. They're still pretty small. They do get to about six to seven inches long, sometimes longer. As the pods grow, they will be weighing the plants down, so it's good to have a um, to stake these in the ground. These are a couple of elephant garlic. They should be ready. Looks like they're almost about ready. I'm just gonna leave them there for the next couple days until I harvest them. But as you can see, it's all bare here. I've harvested a lot of garlic. I've got them um, towards the back in the shade, letting them dry and cure. We've harvested about 10 pounds of potatoes between my niece, nephew, and a couple of friends that came over. We all harvested some potatoes this week during our science and horticulture day camp that I host every year. We got some Yukon, reds, and even a couple of fingerlings in there. They're still pretty small, but I love fingerling potatoes. They are very tasty and has a buttery texture. They're really good roasted with some olive oil, some herbs and garlic. Here's the other strawberry bed. Looks like I'll be thinning them out and hoping to move them to another spot in the fall since they are getting pretty crowded. Another garlic bed here. These are almost ready to be harvested as well. So we'll be doing that in the next few days. Here's our dwarf peas and you know it's gotten really hot so they're pretty much I think done producing. We've been harvesting these small pods here and they're better to harvest when they're pretty little about two two and a half inches long otherwise they seem to get really firm and stringy. Another bed here and I've got some kale and collards going to seeds. As you can see all the seed pods just hanging there. I did take about four other plants out since we'll be getting plenty of seeds from these three plants. The baby kale are not doing so well. The chickens got into this garden box and that's all right though. We'll be sowing some seeds soon here. I've also got some German butterball growing in, in this garden as well as blue potatoes over on this side. Blue or purple potatoes, they're still pretty small. They're only about maybe two inches long. And the plant does not look like it's got any diseases. It's just turning yellow. Maybe I need to water it. It's been so hot. I'm just going to go ahead and bury them back up, let them mature, and we'll harvest them maybe in about a week or so. Got some scarlet runners on this trellis as well on both sides, although the potato plants kind of shaded them. So it took a while for them to grow. I had to kind of trellis the potato plants um, so the beans will get some sun. Here's this area that we were working on about six weeks ago. We finally got the beds down. I've got some fingerling potatoes growing here. That'll be great for fall harvest. And, and I think the cucumbers are starting to sprout. So we still have at least about two months left of summer heat. Hopefully we get some cucumbers and some corn for the fall. Here are some garlic that we harvested that I'm drying and curing. Here's the other part of the garden. We got a lot of stuff done, got it all cleaned up, got lots of herbs. These here are all herbs in pots. I think this is garlic though. And this big brown pot that we grew indoors last winter. So uh, they're not quite ready for harvesting. So we'll just give it a few more weeks. Some lemon balm, my herb pots here. I think got some basil, chives, parsley, chocolate mint, rosemary, oregano thyme, and these bushes are, let's see, these are all herbs as well. This one's the lemon balm, pineapple sage, 
He's trying to catch those white moths. See those? Get him! Get him! <laughs> he knows they're bad for the garden. So, thanks, bud. I think I got some lavender, lavender over there. My neighbor's doing some yard work. Sorry about the noise. Here are more scarlet runner beans, and I believe I did plant some fire baloti or baloto beans in there as well. They're kind of mixed in. The fire baloto beans are a reddish streaked uh, pods. They're beautiful. Beans have a nice buttery taste. Just the homemade bamboo trellis with some twine. Tomatoes are doing great. We've got a few varieties growing. I believe these ones here, the taller ones, are all cherry tomatoes. Here is a better view of the tomatoes. These uh, shorter plants here are the Galapagos Island tomatoes. They seem to be a, a shorter and bushier type. The tomatoes are somewhat similar to cherry tomatoes. Tomatoes back here, I believe I've got some Brandywine tomatoes, Seattle Heirloom, and a pinkish yellow variety. I don't remember the name. I, for I forgot to put the plant tags down. Another row of tomatoes that I planted for my neighbor. We've got a combination of Brandywine, I believe a Seattle heirloom, a cherry, so I planted him four tomato plants here. And chickens. <laughs> and these are eggplants. I'm so excited. These were grown from seeds. I've got them in these 10 gallon buckets. There's three plants for each or pot. And I believe this one's Black Beauty. And these are the Taiwanese eggplants, the longer ones. They are doing really well. So my second attempt in growing these the past couple of years. A small sunflower garden here that my daughter planted. Although I don't recommend planting sunflowers near your garden just because they do attract a lot of insects that like their flowers and seeds and other pests. So if you can, try to plant them in a different location. And I did plant a second garden for her. I really wanted to have this garden next to this big rock like she had in the past. So I just let her grow a few in there before I think we have like 20 sunflowers. This time I think it's about maybe 10 or 12, but we'll be thinning them out. Here's a row of peppers, a couple of basil plants growing near these phileus blue peppers. They're still pretty small. And I did take off the flowers. They were flowering already because we've gotten so much sun. But I want to be able to grow the plant bigger and in the end hopefully get more peppers. And I've got some jalapeno and I think bell pepper down this row. Here are the Romanesco broccoli. The leaves are huge. This is what I was referring to. Besides the chicken eating some of the leaves, we also have some of those green um, cabbage worms or cabbage loopers that I've caught early in the morning, but it's just devouring the plants. But look how big this leaf is. Actually, all these leaves are huge, so it looks like they're healthy, and I really hope that they produce Romanesco broccoli. I, I really want to share with you guys how beautiful they are and unique, besides wanting to eat them. <laughs> Hopefully soon. This is the same bed where I pulled out some potato plants that had blight, and we did get a few harvests, which is nice. And here are the potato berries. I uploaded a video about them just a few days ago. So if you want to learn more, you can watch the quick video. I'll just let them mature on the plants and we'll, we'll see what happens. Here's a trellis for some of the pole beans. So they're still pretty young. More on this side here. On this garden bed, we have some yellow squash, I believe, and some corn planted. I hope that we're not too late. We sowed the seeds about 10 days ago. And I hope that we get some more glass gem corn this year. That way I can share some seeds with you guys. All right, that sums it up for today. Thanks everyone for tuning in. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful summer and growing season. We'll talk to you soon. Happy gardening.